Hello guys. From last video, we learned how to set up and uh, do some uh, basic operation to our terminal in the virtual machine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the terminal and the command line to access the Hadoop file system. So first, we need to set up our environment using this command. Don't forget this um, dollar sign. So Hadoop file system is already installed and configured in the virtual machine. You just start, uh, you just set up the environment every time you use it. And um, the simple way to interact with Hadoop file system is start the command line with HDFS. It's short for Hadoop file system. And since we want to do some manipulation to the files, so we use DFS to tell the uh, Hadoop that we want to do the uh, want to operate its files. So DFS is short for Distributed File System. And the first command I want to show you is the hyphen ls. It means list. So you put hyphen ls and the root directory. It means it will show you the um, all the files, all the directory based on the root directory in Hadoop file system. So now you can see there is five item in the root directory of Hadoop file system. The first, the first column is the authority of each uh, directory of files. This is the owner. This is the authority group. And this is the last change time, and this is um, uh, folder names. You can see we have five folders in the root directory. And also, we can put user. It means we want to see the contents of this user folder. And I will see we found six items in the user folder. So this six. And what we want to want see what's in the user training folder so now it didn't show it didn't show anything so it means in this folder now it's empty and if we want to see a folder that do not exist let's see for the foo, it means um, in the root directory, I want to see what's in the foo directory. But you can see foo is not here. So it means this foo directory is not existed. So let's see what happened. It will tell you, OK, there is no such file or directory named foo. <laughs> so this is a basic command line you want to we, we learn. And it's very handy because we always want to see what's in the directory. So the second step is we want to upload files to Hadoop file system. It means we want to upload one file or one directory from our local file system to Hadoop file system. So we clear the terminal. And you can see the command line here. It's HDFS, distributed file system. This one is make directory is mkdrr is short for make directory and we want to make a directory in the in Hadoop file system named loadercra okay now if you if you use the list command line you just learn You will see there is a lot of create um, directory in the root directory of Hadoop file system. So now it's uh, six items. And now we want to change directory to this um, device one data folder in our local file system. You can print your working directory. You can see now use the you're in the uh, dev1 data directory. So let's see what's in this, what's in my working directory. Okay, so we see several folders and several files in this directory. 
Okay, now you see there is a folder named KB. We want to upload this KB folder to the Hadoop file system. So we need to use the command line named put. So let's try it. HDFS distributed file system hyphen put. And after the put, the first part is the local file system. It means which file you want to upload in your local file system. So we want to upload the KB. And the second part is which directory you want to upload to. It means in the Hadoop file system. So we want to upload it to louder create um, the directory we just uh, created. Uh, enter. Okay, so now let's use our list to see if we upload it. All right, you can you can see in the load create um, directory we see a folder named KB. It means we successfully upload this KB to the Hadoop file system, and we can also see what's in the KB. Oh, there's um, several files, a lot of files. So, okay, it's from 300 items in KB. All right. So um, there is one thing to um, be careful that for in this command, when we put KB, we use the relative path. It's not an absolute path, it means this KB is existing in your um, working directory, in the current directory. So if you are not in the uh, in this data directory, you need to use absolute um, pass. All right, clear the terminal. Okay, so for now we know how to upload a file or folder from my local file system to the Hadoop file system. Now let's see how I could delete it. So first, I will upload a simple one. It's called logs two. Load uh, create. So it means I want to upload this folder to load create in uh, Hadoop file system. And let's see if I upload it successfully. Yes, you can see in load create uh, directory we have two folders. One is KB, we just uploaded it. The other one is call logs. It's our sample. We need to delete it. All right. So the delete, we use the uh, command rm. It's a short for remove. So Hadoop file system, distribute file system, rm, remove. And we also, after the remove, we also give it a hyphen r. It means recursively. It means if uh, this one is uh, directory so this command will uh, delete not only this directory but all the contents in this directory it means delete the whole folder together so columns okay you see now we deleted the lot create columns so let's use the list to check Okay, now you see in the lot create uh, directory, we just have one folder now. All right, so sometimes we want to view the files in Hadoop file system. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. So we use a command line named cat. It's short for concatenate. So Hadoop file system, DFS, 
hyphen cat. It means I want to see the Hadoop 5 system, the load create directory, and the kb folder, and there is a file named the kb doc hyphen 00289.html and the bar here. So after the bar, the tail means I want to see the file from the bottom to top. And this backslash means this two line is actually one line, one command. So uh, just ignore this. And there's the hyphen n means I want to see some specific number, specific lines, 20. So this whole command line means we want to see this file from bottom to top, the last 20, the last, uh, 20 uh, lines. So let's see what's in there. OK, so because it tra it's a HTML file, so we see the last 20 line is something like this. All right. So we can not only use cat, or we can still use like head, tail, more or less, put it here. So we can change the format of its uh, display. Now let's clear the terminal. OK, and we can also use the get command line to copy a file from the how, uh, Hadoop file system to our local file system. So let's see how we should use it. So HDFS, distribute file system, hyphen, get. So after get, the first part is uh, you want to copy this file from where. So it's a pass of the Hadoop file system. I want to copy it from I'll create KB folder. So the file name is KB doc hyphen 00289.html. And the second part is in your local file system, where you want to store these files. So we want to store in the home directory and name it with article.html. And let's go to the home directory. Now you can see in the home directory, we already store this article.html. All right, and we can use the last command to see what's in this article. The last command means we show the content of this um, um, file in one page, just a just just fit this window. So you can see just fit this window. So this is the content of this article .html. You can use enter to go to next line because we put it in one page so there is some hidden content and you can press Q but the button Q to quit this all right so there are several other operations you can use HDFS distribute file system to check it so this uh, this is a um, help book you can see, so for each command, it gives the samples and how to use it. You can check it if you sometimes forget the command line.